house price. Don't come. They won't give you your money. They will bring you here and chop your money. Don't come to Ghana. Tensions are hiding here at the finance ministry as pensioner bondholders have resumed picketing here. The ordeal is based on one thing, the non-payment of six outstanding coupons, which is getting them more and more frustrated. I have quite a few dependents. One of them has a kidney, chronic kidney disease straight, stage 3. We can't even afford to go and do a lab test for her. We can't buy medication. She has other medical complications. We can't buy her medication. One of the medications has jumped from 400 cities to 800 cities. We can't buy it anymore. The other one has a very high um, blood pressure. If she doesn't get her medication, she'll have a stroke and end up most likely in hospital. And that will be another problem on top of another problem. The, the June one hasn't started. And one was on the 5th June. And the ministry told us that government has instructed the controller and accountant general to prioritize the payment of our coupons, which meant that as soon as the coupons were due, controllers should make money available for the payment. So we were comforted. And for two weeks, we decided not to be here and wait to see what was going to happen. The coupons that were uh, being paid was, were paid. And then the principals also were paid. But it remained the June coupon. We waited to see whether, as has been promised, that it will be prioritized. We will receive it immediately. We didn't receive. Well, you would recall that the pensioners had earlier threatened to send the Ministry of Finance to Shraj in case they do not heed to their calls. Well, their convener, Dr. Edwana Ni has been given updates on that. Government say it is it's not going to, it's difficult to pay. Nevertheless, we say we will write you a letter of demand. Let it have your response. And if we get your response and you still say you are not going to pay, we will take it as not treating your citizens fair. We are taking it as an, as an administrative justice matter. And therefore, we, we will submit the matter to Shrag. So we are waiting for the response from government, and then we take that further action. Judith Chitando, TV3 News, Ministry of Finance.